Hello, hi, so welcome to Van Delver and Below the Shattered Obelisk. Let's uh, get a few things out of the road. First and foremost, maps were by Tessa Moorcroft, or Tessa Presents Maps. A link to the maps for this particular campaign will be found below, and if you wish to see any of these maps and actions, if you check right here, you'll get a playlist for Shadow of the Dragon Queen. Yes, Dragonland Shadow of the Dragon Queen, she gave us the maps for that, and we've been using them, and they have been excellent. For the business number two, the DM for tonight's game is actually King. King who plays, well enough, King in Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Yep, we're going to be probably about 60 sessions in by the time this starts, but right now we've just done 51. Thirdly, if we were to rate this game, uh, BBFC in Britain, you'd be looking anywhere between 15 and 18, somewhere in that gambit. In America, you'd be looking at Restricted. I initially said NC17 and then found out that was adults only. Um, this is not that type of content. There will be swearing, there will probably be drinking, um, there'll be players, people drinking, um, yeah, that's probably the extent as it'll go, maybe a bit of gore here and there, some very odd and kind of disturbing descriptions of certain things, but there's some stuff in this book that does kind of make my skin crawl when I read it out, so yeah, apart from that, uh, do enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you all soon. Regardless. Yeah, let's get going underway. So, as you all know, you guys are adventurers getting ready to set out on your quest in the city of Neverwinter. A dwarf named Gundren Rockseeker asks you to bring a wagon load of provisions to this rough and tumble settlement of Found Vandalin. A couple of days travel southeast of the city. Gondrum is clearly excited and more than a little secretive about his reason for the trip, however, saying only that he and his brothers had found something big, quote-unquote, that he'd pay you ten gold pieces each for escorting his supplies safely to Barthen's provisions, a trading post in Fandel. He then sets out ahead of you on a horse, along with his warrior escort, I believe the name was Paul Winter claiming he needed to arrive early to take care of business. So now you spent the last few days following the high road south from Neverwinter, and you've recently veered east along the Tribor Trail. You've encountered no trouble so far, but the territory can be dangerous. Bandits and outlaws have been looking to lurk along the trail, and, well, people can start speaking at any moment. That being said, after going through your day's travel, you find yourselves at camp, just resting for a bit. As you gather around the fire, this is, you know, now your opportunities to introduce one another. And finally get a moment of conversation, as you will be traveling together, perhaps for a while. So, like we roll in to see who goes first. What's going on? <laughs> I mean, I was just going to do like you know, raise your hand, but we can do that too. One D six, whoever gets the worst has to go first. I was going to say, just do it in the order that uh, it was done with the uh, in the Vandelva characters thing. Oh, just oh, the way everyone was released in the okay. That would make the most, I, I think that would make the most sense, personally. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, so in Discord, the Find Elver characters thing, where, so, first up was Aya, who, she ain't here, yeah. so that puts, that makes the order Boon, Nacht, myself, Babis, <laughs> and then Jason last. I can see why, I can see why you've decided to opt for this route. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I reverse it for today. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> I vote no reversing. Uh, best for last, best for last. So why am I not going last then? Because, mm, motherfucker, mm. I'll beat your ass. You'll do nothing, bitch. Joke's on you, you I'll enjoy it. Joke's on you, I'll enjoy beating your ass. <gasps> anyway, explanation starting. No. Boon. So Boon's, uh pretty well-dressed human sitting there he'll pull out like a violin and start kind of playing like a like a slow but still happy uh tune and sort of like gazes out over his companions 
Uh, his clothing is fancy, but it looks maybe a little bit dated. Um, like it was probably really expensive 20 years ago. And he'll introduce himself to the group. And uh, Does anybody have any requests? Any shop? Cut my life into pieces. This <laughs> <laughs> my last resort. You should... Mmm, <laughs> feisty when you are. Do uh -huh. you know anything by the bard known as 50 Electrum? <laughs> What's an yes, what about the uh, what about the barge group uh, uh, rage against the machine? Rage against what? the construct. <laughs> what about the <laughs> Do any of emo wrong, uh, slaying uh, in the name of? You know anything against Iron Bed? <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we just say there are no requests? <laughs> it just keeps playing. <laughs> Have you, have you, do you know anything by Metal Maidens? <laughs> Sorry, who's next again? Do you know anything by the band Knacked. Blackfield Bards? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I think it's time for Knack to go. So, Knack is a Shudder Kai. Um, he's... Slightly egotistical, believes that he's the leader even though he knows he isn't, but at the same time, he secretly is very possessive over his team. He sees everybody as his friend despite even though he will probably fight you just for the sake of fighting you, he still sees you as a friend. And yeah, um, he's also a sort of, kind of a bitch. So if things are getting too hard on him, there's a chance he will just give you the peace sign and fucking run. Well, sounds like another character we know. Yeah, he's kind of a bitch, kind of a lover, kind of a fighter. <laughs> Sound, this sounds very familiar to another character from... Uh, what game is it? Uh, oh, Curse of Strahd. Don't know what you're fucking talking <laughs> about. That's who. Don't know who you're about. I never ran Cause... away from nothing. Fuck you all about. No, no you, you you chose not to uh, hit. That's just called strategy. I told you that. I I, I you sorry. I, I chose not to what? Chose not to hear. Oh yeah. No, actually, I'm deaf in that. That shit was deaf in that year, mate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grangemouth is flooded. Nice. Uh, oh. next up, I believe that puts me. So, you know, Jojan's sit, sitting there, you know, kind of on his knees, just by the fire. Next to him, there is a very large egg that he has been very protective of in the time coming, that he carries. Hasn't given too much away about anything in regards to himself. But he's relatively tall and slender. He has a long bow on his back, short swords on his sides, sort of padded leather armor, and has an almost militaristic way of thinking and acting. You know, everything's for the betterment of us, and he can always seem to fall into some form of line. Almost like he was trained to be that way from birth. He's, he's also yellow with brown spots. And doesn't quite seem to pick up on an awful lot of social cues. He's just very blunt. Babis. Yes. Uh, Bavis is just, he's a deep gnome who has dark blue skin, he has a beard that just is kind of fluffy, it doesn't look very well maintained, kind of just like he brushes every morning and then is done with it, doesn't do anything else. He, he's kind of an idiot. Like, in the most straightforward of terms, he's just straight up stupid. Yeah, we don't. Uh, but also, he, he's very kind, he doesn't mean any harm by anything. 
but <laughs> but he's still very. Uh, he can get very angry, but it's very hard to tell since he just constantly has the same "hi to ho" type of voice. <laughs> okay, now explain your character. <laughs> 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 that was a cold fart. Oh, oh. Cold brother did not deserve oh, that. Fucking kind. <laughs> you didn't yeah. deserve that, Corey. Oh. There was no need. That, that was I get, that was every last need. year of taking this little fuck shit. I finally got him back. Oh, I did. <laughs> Honestly, I, I thought I thought you were a uh, cleric, not a bard, because that, that was some vicious mockery right there. Is bard going to like three foot tall? He really doesn't know much what's going on. He's just kind of here because he has nothing better to do. That is bad. This he doesn't really do much else. Miran. Okay, so Miran, Miran, water. Miran is a, a ladron, uh, standing at around like six and a half feet tall. Very very slim build. Uh, the he, he's very very like sort of generic looking for an a ladron. However, what you notice instantly is that across his arms, uh. The part of the chest that you can see uh, under his like robe, like thing he's wearing. It's not quite a robe, but it's almost like a robe. You know what I'm saying? Like a flowy jumpsuit sort of thing. But you notice that all over his arms and chest are tribal, or what look to be tribal tattoos, uh, in a language that. Well, some of them in a language that you may understand, you may not understand. What language are they? Giant. I don't understand no. that. Bigger, bigger. Either. So, unless you know giant, you, don't, you ain't gonna know what those tattoos mean. My brother in Christ, are you not a path of the giant barbarian? No, no I, I am path of giant, but I only know common gnomish. And under common. Uh, I must get it at level three. <laughs> I'm gonna say that's that's a pretty weird path for the giant. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So. Hey, by the way, um, if you oh. guys would like, you could also talk about how you came to meet this Gondrin rock seeker individual dwarf guy. <laughs> I seen a gnome oh. laughed at it and I just followed it. <laughs> I'll take it. I just wanted to know why there was an egg. Gonna, gonna I was hungry. Over and and saw an egg, followed it. It was the egg in a bit. It seems he's followed me. <laughs> egg. No. Yes. No. Yes. You guys stop fucking arguing over an egg. Egg. Like, you just I... fucking stay up for five fucking minutes. No. I just needed money. To... I just needed money. So, for you to get money, you had to steal a fucking egg? This egg is from elsewhere. I brought it with me. To what, did you shit it, it out? I was just like, raises his hand. No. No, put your fucking hand down. You're not stealing the fucking egg. Just leave it. I would ask why egg. Because he shit it out. That's his child. Moran's just gonna look on with an amused expression. Wait, that's your egg? Yes. Like, you've laid it? No. Ah. Then it's not your egg. You stole it. Can we like have egg? No. Hey, we have a fire. Why don't we just take it off him and fry it? The egg I must have... incubate by the fire. Oh. So why not put in fire? Seems much more effective. Yeah, it does because seem like a good idea. Because it would also put out the fire, and 
We are warming <laughs> ourselves by the fire. How about you just put it in the fire? No. Let the man warm his egg. Jeez. Let's keep playing. <laughs> what? What is going on? How did you come to be here? And points to Ben. Nah, I owe a few people a fair bit of money that I have no intention of paying back. And in my experience, when you want to avoid a debt, best just to stay out of town for a while. Noted. Why not sell stuff for money? Mm. Do you usually not know how to speak it. fucking English, you fucking weirdo? Huh? Uh, yeah, it doesn't matter. He's from the oh. Underdark. They don't speak Oh, common. right. This yes, is his second, second language. language. Yes, I oh, so what have... is your first language? Undercommon? Gnomish. Oh, makes sense. So that's why you're small. I thought you were just a fucking garden, though. I is. So my how the fuck did you leave my garden? My family gardeners. Very pretty plants. Could see them. Smell very good, though. You look like I a child and you speak good. like a child. You're confusing me. I'm pretty sure I'm older than you by a couple of years. Maybe 50. Take a guess. How old do you think I am, Mr. Gnome? He's going to see you. Uh, 12? That's funny. Try 240. Mm. So pretty much 12. Yeah, whatever. How does a being from the Shadowfell find its way to this plane? I just kind of simply look over at Baba's point and go, I see a gnome, I follow the gnome. I, I, was, found me, I was I was out wandering, bored, left my area. Just you know, I was kind of on a redemption story, trying to find myself because I kind of got kicked out of where I came from. Um, but then I was just kind of wandering, and this little thing turned up, and just started walking around. So I followed it. Hmm. Why? You're a literal walking, talking gnome. Why wouldn't I fucking follow you? Oh, I'm not gonna lie. At first, I thought you were a leprechaun. Fair enough, honestly. What is a leprechaun? Um, it, it, how do I explain that? It's like a little green thing, and if you follow it, it's gonna give you a pot of gold or some shit. I don't fucking know. Oh, so my uncle. It, that's why you look like a fucking leprechaun. <laughs> He was green. He gave people gold when they followed him. He also led them into traps. Yeah, that was literally a fucking leprechaun. On the other side, how does a being from the Fey Wild end up here? Sitting across from its exact polar opposite. Wouldn't you yes. like to know? Yes, what that's why I matter? asked. How about you find out? That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Question. What I'm saying is, I'm not going to tell you. Why are you covered in paint? Ah. Well, you really are, are fucking stupid. Tribalistic tattoos. What? They're tattoos from my tribe. You don't know what a fucking tattoo is, do you? No. It's Basically, a someone marking puts, somebody puts on your body. Someone puts ink on a stick and they poke the ink into your skin. He, he, he probably doesn't know what the fuck that is either. Why? No, I know what stick is and ink. Just why? I am very surprised. Who they uh, they can be a representative of? You're, for using, example, you're using big words you won't understand. Basically, they look cool. Ah, uh, 
Win battle. Tattoo. Be born. Oh, trophy. Tattoo. Got it. Do cool thing. Tattoo. So like so skin, like book. Yes, yeah, a bit like book. Here we go. He's getting it. Or, or, trophy. Okay, okay, makes sense now. Good, yes. I'm glad we have that cleared up. Does anyone have any idea how much longer until we get to the town? Mm. Can't be that much longer, sh surely. Boon, are you from here? Or the surrounding region? Originally I'm from Baldur's Gate, but uh, standing up in Neverwinter. Hmm. Ma Mavis just scratches his head. Where, what, oh. who, why, why is there a bald man's gate? <laughs> it's the name of the city, little buddy. Maybe we'll go there one day. Babis, uh, I'm just going to say, just don't ask any more questions. Why? Just don't. Uh, no, no. I fucking tried. Let's call it tonight. The fucking fair. Should we take watch? Or is it safe? Well, I don't know. You're seeing the same shit I'm seeing. Believe me, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing significantly I... less. Oh yeah, shit. Um, yeah, there's nothing I can see across the water. I, don't think I, I was going to say the entire map's just got black for me. Do you have dark I can see everything. Uh, do a lantern. Yeah, vision? you're in a lantern. You get dark vision. You should be able to yeah. see. Yeah, I don't know. I'll yeah. just I'll, I'll try refreshing. It might just be just a refresh thing. I have yeah. 120 oh, no. feet of dark vision, so I can just see the entire map. How about yeah, soon. There's always the chance that it could be your laptop or browser so mm. turn i'd say turn your settings down uh because you know this has got like performance settings yeah turn your performance settings to like, max performance and you know change browser yeah. if need be wait say so, hi how much dark vision did you say you have 120 feet <laughs> i got 300. <laughs> cool uh i believe i just have 16. You have the base. All, right. All I need, really. Dark yeah, visions so for pussies. <laughs> yeah, so... I thought you did. No, I guess don't have dark vision. I swear they did. They're not. No, I used uh, Tasha's custom lineage to give Taylor dark vision. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Except yeah, there's... I needed my. Because of my class and such, I really couldn't forego that plus two, plus one, or three plus one, so... You know. Yeah, I'm, gonna, yeah, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm gonna have a torch for a while. <laughs> I get you, I get you. But anyway, um, yeah, there's nothing across the water that I can see. I can only see up to that ridge, which none of you can see. But, um, yeah. I can see that far. Oh, so you can see up to that ridge, yeah? I can see past the ridge. Well, a little bit. Yeah, I see about halfway past the ridge, and I don't see anything. Where are we looking to? Past the water. No, over here. Look. Yeah, right here. Right. Yeah, yeah, I, can, I see, I I see, see it there. there. This is the max I can see. Oh, the max I can see is there. Damn, we just see the thing. But yeah, I, yeah, I can't see anything unless there's something hiding in the bushes behind us. As I Why? point to over there. 
Yeah, unless there's something over there, then yeah, I don't see anything. But anyway, I trust um, that none of you fuckers are going to try and kill me, so I'm going to go to sleep. Good night. Uh, I will wait up an extra hour. Go. Sleep. I put my Warhammer as a pillow, rest my head on it, and fall asleep. I'm going to obviously go into a trance because I'm an Aladrin. I'm just going to pull my hat over my head and get into my bed. I'm just going to, like, get comfortable against the tree. Sit down and just, like, almost go into a meditation sort of thing. I just start snoring, la laughing in my sleep. <laughs> Fucking gnome. So. As everyone takes their long-awaited rest. You have a relatively peaceful night. As uh, who's taking watch again? Uh, myself. Okay. I'm also just kind of staying up, hanging out. I would say that once, um, once the fire um, dies out, out, once like the fire dies out and there's no flame and it's just embers, I'd then like you know move the egg to on top of it. Mm -hmm. You keep watch, disciplined as you may be, as you, your many years of training has taught you, as you take a look around. Nothing rather eventful happened. You hear a few howls of the wolves and a few skitterings of creatures, but a relatively peaceful night as a fire starts dying down as the hours go by. <laughs> oh. 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 At some point, the day beckons once again, and oh shit, it was kind of sh yeah. Does this map have like a daytime or something? There, or is it just like it's like this? Uh, I doubt it. I believe it is just a nighttime map when I built it. Yeah, I've I've transitioned to daytime on it and. Um, is it the global darkness? Nope, just a dark map. Oh well. Uh... Mm -hmm. Never mind, but we can head back. To... My eyes! Oh lord, are you good, sir? <laughs> Flashbang through the door! <laughs> oh, is that everyone can see the map, right? Yes. We. Oui. Okay. So, the day goes by, and it's time to start venturing once again. Um, who wants to drive the wagon? Me. All right. Well, I shall sit next to him. Ne or like next, if there's a seat next to him, I'll sit next to him and just like okay. make sure that he can actually <laughs> be over the horses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm being his eyes. Oh, oh, there's a cat there, look there. Oh, okay. okay, now there's a tree, tree, tree. Jesus Christ, we're going to die. Who thought it was a good idea to let the gnome that looks like a child drive? I have a beard. I think he's doing fine. Look how happy he is. No he's one has any objections. Three different trees. Actually, the trees would have moved. No, they wouldn't. How do you make a real uh, I guess that only happens back home. If this was the Feywilds, they might have moved. However, this is not the Feywilds. You vehicle check? Hmm? You know how to make a vehicle check? Uh, so, for it to my understanding, um, you make the relative correct type of check that you would for the role so say you need to try to avoid something it's a dex check at sans proficiency so any additional that you as the player would have would be gone unless you have proficiency in land vehicles then you can add your proficiency back on okay hi guys i'm your ruler 
general wisdom check. Hmm? Uh, make I need a the driver to make a wisdom check. Yeah. All right, you struggle a little bit to see exactly um, every single, you know, obstacle on the road, but you seem to be generally doing a fine job riding. Is we travel along the land. As time goes by, you've been on the Tribor Trail for about half a day. As you come around the bend, though, you spot what seems to be two horses lying across the floor about 50 feet ahead of you it's blocking a path slow down Bobby, slow down okay slow slow the uh i, I am okay. uh, as, as i say that i'm just like gonna hop off like as it's like still moving at a slower pace just hop down and move forward towards the horses to like inspect. Okay. Okay. And, like, try and figure out why these horses are like just lied there. Okay, can everyone see? Mm -hmm. Yes, I can. Yep, I can see. We are missing one. Who will be missing? Uh, Matthew. Ah, uh, yeah. Matthew, oh Matthew, where have you gone? He went to take a piss. Oh, he's he's in he's in the back. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, so... Okay, I I see blackness, darkness. Oh, there we go. Moran's just going to walk towards the horses. It's like trying to figure out why they're on the ground. Okay, uh, roll a medicine check. Oh, yeah. I'm really good at that, you know. Yeah, right. Uh... I'm preoccupied with... Wait, oh, fuck, I've got to say guidance. <laughs> <laughs> you'll get there, you'll get there, trust me. King's gonna get sick of hearing you say guidance. Don't worry. I don't I don't think guidance will help on this one. I well, help. I kind of just, I kind of squat down, look at the horse and go, let me check. Horse is dead? I yep. help. I'm... Oh, how did I get a that fucking one? I help him. King, horse, horse is dead, yes or no? Yes. Shit. Before you guys roll anything, um, you do oh. notice each of these horses have several black feathered arrows sticking out of it. Okay, so... Perhaps well, I'm not... The What's best the hold up? Well, I'm not the best at uh, medicine and all this stuff. Especially when it comes to animals. Uh, judging from these, like, arrows sticking out of them, I'm pretty sure these horses were attacked and are probably dead. Yeah, I would, I would say the same, but... Why are the horses still in one piece? Why have they not been ravaged? Because let's be honest, if, if someone's killed these horses and not taken them for food... Either they've taken something else, or we're being watched. It must have happened rather recently. I... Bit of, um, bit of, uh, discussing it, how about we just move them out of the way and carry on? Maybe they were taken because there was a carriage. Yeah. I have no idea what you rolled. Oh. Yeah, Sorry. you rolled them privately. Yeah, it was supposed to be... I, I... I just went immediately self-roll. I'm still in that GM mode. Um, and love <laughs> Can I do an investigation Games. check to see if there's any yeah. traps or anything? Sure, sure. Yeah, this yeah. doesn't feel right. I'm yeah. just gonna do... While Babas is doing that, I'm just gonna do a general look around, check the trees sort of thing. I'm gonna I have no moves standing. I'm standing on the... Ordinary. Cart. I'm gonna stand on our cart looking around as well, just trying to... see over this... Berm, as opposed to the the phrase I'm looking for. Okay, so who who's looking at the horses and who's looking around? I'm looking around. I'm looking around. I'm, I'm also looking around, but I'm like specifically checking the tree line and stuff like that. I'm looking at the horses to see if there's anything abnormal about these arrows. Okay, okay. So, um, you make a medicine check. I'm sorry. Who was that that just spoke? 
Me. Corey. No, no, no. Yeah. No. Okay, yeah. So roll the medicine check. And you guys just look around and I'm I'm still reading this real quick. Okay. So it doesn't seem to be any abnormal type of arrows, they just seem to be just your normal arrows that an average soldier would use. But it does seem that this horse has been dead about a day. Okay, so the horses haven't been here too long, but they're not fresh. They've been here about a day. You can tell by the arrows, the way they've fallen over from the initial entry. Um... Yeah, I don't know what the fuck we're gonna do now. Uh, I recommend we either look around or we get the fuck out of here. Well, okay, so you guys looking around. Um, the woods press close to the trail here, and there's a steep embankment with dense thickets of the other side. <laughs> there does seem to be a little bit of a activity going on in the area. Um, somebody, anybody, make a nature check. Fellas, mm-hmm. we better tighten up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the bats! Guidance. It's a bit late. <laughs> Guidance is also touch. <laughs> I was going to say, can uh, I help? Yeah. <laughs> Just runs over. Guidance! <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do over. Um... <laughs> oh, dude, he just oh, screams in your ear every time <laughs> you do it. Guidance! <laughs> Well, since Marin's next to me, I put my hand on her head and I go, Giants. Mm-hmm. On her, did you just say? On there. I thought you said her head, I was thinking, no, there. He is a man! I mean, you do look like a woman, so don't blame me. Alright. Alright. I'll roll my guidance then. That's what I love. Well, I'm just gonna... Into the forest. <laughs> And you notice some of the movements tend to be rather abnormal. The types of creatures here tend to be rather small, and there aren't deers in this part of the land. These Mm. seem to be something similar to humanoids. We're being what? Can I? What about the behind them? Behind what? Behind the horses, is there any kind of tracks behind them? Nothing but the trail that tends that seems to lead towards. Oh, it didn't say anything. Uh, just a trail. Mm. <clears throat> I have reduced this dirt as dirt. I'm just gonna, like, shout over. Joshan, come over here. I'm gonna break. Carefully, deliberately, like take my time just a little bit lower, as if like stalking and move my way towards the group. I'm then gonna say in a very hush tone, we're being watched. Can I make one suggestion from the tree line? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna make one suggestion. suggestion. Maybe so not I- all stand in a crowd. I say, yep. Yeah. Okay. That. Roll initiative. <laughs> oh, you fucker! See, I knew it. I see the scat. Yeah. My fucking. I got. I got that pause in there for you, Ken. Sigh. Seven point two. Ah. Wow. Well, oh, absolute dear. solid roll of three. Because <laughs> I got a nat one. You know what? I'm actually. In the weirdest possible way, I'm like, I'm proud oh, that you remember that that's a fucking bugbear, mate. Me? <laughs> yeah! Bugbear. It's, it's just, you're just like, bugbear, and I'm like, whoa, he remembers. <laughs> bugbears. Bug, bugbear and the goblin. Bug. What's it with like bugbears, man? Why do they love me? They don't, they fucking hate you, that's why they keep attacking you. Yeah, but, like, clearly they must love me if no, it's only No, I don't know what it is, right? They have a poster in their hideout, and it's just kill this man. 
<laughs> it's just a picture of this one Matthew, random do library. I get four or do I get three prepared spells? Uh, you should have... I think it's a level two cleric based on... Blah, blah, blah. You and I both... Uh, I just know my spells. Fuck. Um... As a clerk, let me double check real quick. Um, I think it's four. It, uh, there's a calculation. Goblins are there. Yes. If anybody can get it before me. What is it we're trying to clear out? Uh, how many spells a cleric can prepare? Because it's a, a, how many spells yeah. a cleric can prepare? Because. Sorry. Why are you switching your spells? What was that, sorry? Why are you switching your spells? Nah, nah. Corey. Yeah, I, Corey. I, I hadn't had them fixed. I had ones that I didn't select because my Matthew, you refixed my shit. Oh, yeah, I did. Because it was the first. He had an issue with. Uh, yeah, I saw. I'll be I'll, hands up. That's on me. There was an issue with um, Character Mancer where it wasn't saving tw Twilight Cleric. And it ended up being I had to reinstall some shit, and because of that, I just randomly clicked some spells. So like it is on me, and I do make that apologize, and I should have brought it up. That's why I'm asking which why what I'm allowed because I can't uh, many. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, so you can do this. You can do that. Uh, should, when you finish a long rest, preparing new spells, I've spent time. To, okay, spell cast ability. Wisdom is your spellcaster ability, reaches cleric spells, the power of divine spell, blah, 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 blah. Okay, cool, cool, right, in addition, you just, wait, fucking, tell me! <laughs> <laughs> uh, the cleric table shows how many spell slots you can cast, okay, not right. quite what I wanted, but nice, prepare, ability available when you cast, when you do so, a number of spells, <laughs> uh, equal to your wisdom modifier and your cleric level, so, just because I'm in the Ooh. other one just now. So wisdom Clarks. modifier. Your wisdom modifier is three. Four. And your level is two, which means you have a total of five spells to prepare. Whoa! Okay, I thought I only had four. Lovely, okay. I'm just gonna also put that here because the amount of times I look on the fucking player's handbook for this shit is a man who plays cleric. Um let's see, um I want favorite. I want that favorited. See, so yeah, King, that's mm -hmm. on me, and I do apologize. Yeah, do you have to prepare cantrips, or do no. you just like. You just know them. Okay. Sure. Good. King? Uh, unpause and rock. Okay. Um, how about I could just roll, like, in certain ways, like, privately or publicly? So, see, just at the very bottom where it says, um, public roll? Oh. Just change that to change that to self roll, and we'll never know what you roll unless you right click it. Because you've already privately rolled some dice, so we know that you've privately rolled some dice, and that's it. Wait, do I even have to prepare spells? No, you just know your spells. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quarry is the only one that has to uh, prepare spells, to my knowledge. No spell slash ratioed. So I have to get underway. Um. This first goblin, all the way hiding in the bushes, hops out and shoots an arrow at the first one to the horses, which is Babis. Uh -huh. <laughs> what was that, sorry? Was it 21 hits? I don't... Yes, of course, 21 hits. <laughs> Just making sure. Jesus right. Christ! He takes Jesus 7 Christ. damage. But to, to be fair, say I, um, when these guys take, like, you know, when they take mad damage, like, King has an AC of 16, and if I roll, if I have, like, oh, if I roll a 42, everyone here can confirm, I turn around and go, does a 42 hit? I know <laughs> it hits, it's just force of habit. In fairness, in fairness, he does do that. I've seen. Didn't you roll like a thirty something once? I, I rolled. Someone? I rolled two natural twenties for a total of thirty five, and that was yeah. with silvery barbs. Yeah, it had to go. It was the thirty five hit? 
Oh yeah, by the way, have you been like, uh, your roles to people? Uh, so if you want to re reveal a role, right click it in the chat and then it will say reveal to everyone with a little eye and it pops out. Oh, okay. I was trying to do that, but I had to scroll down. Nice. Yeah, damn. These uh, dudes damn. hit the little chat. Oh, what the fuck? Why is there a timer? Uh, is he gonna go boom? It's carry over, don't worry. Uh, boom, 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 boom. I will. It's kind of, this goes on, the arrow happens. I immediately turn, pull out my longbow and just retort, firing straight back at the same guy that attacked Babis. Uh, and then I will kind of take the longbow. Uh, would I be able to get up here? How high is that? Question. Why, why is there a timer? Um, roll a athletics check. Okay. This is something I forgot to take off, don't worry. Uh, athletics, athletics. I'm doing great. Um, you can get up there, but you'd use the rest of your moving speed. Yeah, uh, I will kind of run up to beside this bugbear. Longbow in one hand, pull out my short sword, and as a bonus action, take a swing at him as an offhand attack. A 19 for fucking one! On beautiful. <laughs> B-E-A, beautiful. Damage is damage, remember. <laughs> and end turn. Alright. Another goblin pops up, and he aims a shot at Mirren. Does a six <laughs> Does a 16 <laughs> hit? No, six. <laughs> Oh, six. Uh, unfortunately not. Six does not hit. Okay. Just veers. Not even anywhere near you. That's an air ball. Next up, we have... Yeah, this guy. So he um, gets a little bit brave, and he just runs up. And goes straight up back to you, Mirren. So he misses with ten. And you just move out of the way easily, as Boon is your turn to go. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna shout at the the one that has the uh, the bow that's still up on that ledge, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna say, uh, a "Real man comes down and fights in person and casts vicious mockery." So he has to make a wisdom save. North or south? Uh, how do I? Just how hold. I just hold. Like, click and hold. Just hold it down. Yep. Click and hold, and it'll ping. Oh, I don't see the ping happening. There we go. Oh, look at that! Hey, okay. bing, bing, bing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, that mm -hmm. fella. Uh, sixteen. I mean, fifteen. Uh, so that's save. So uh, nothing happens, and. I will. <laughs> oh, could you I'd... um post up the spell? Oh yeah, it's a cantrip. Just click the image. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, so for a bonus action, I'm going to. Oh shit! Seeing that he sort of dodged that, I'm gonna look at the little guy, and uh, say like, I think it's about time you get angry, and I'm gonna give him a bardic inspiration. So you can add a d6 to uh, attack roll, and that's my turn. I just pause the game. Hit space bar. I'll take the. I'll take it off next time. Don't worry. Hello there. It is me. Uh, I'm just gonna look across to the one that I see. Uh, how the fuck do I say your name, Matthew? Uh, Josh. 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 Think Chinese. Joe, okay. I see Joe fighting and I kind of just smile as I take a step closer to him and point to him and go, Oi. All the dead. Oh. Um, can I hit space bar real quick, mate, while we're mm -hmm. uh, Because uh, toll the dead issue is technically that should be a d12. But it's not mm -hmm. it's not automatically rolling the D12 damage. So I'm gonna quickly um I need to roll one D12. 
I, uh, I would go ahead and just roll a d12, but I'm adding it to your thing just now, yeah. Uh, so roll a d12 for damage. And oh, fuck. really quickly, really quickly, just for my safety, could you also re-roll Toll the Dead so I can make sure I've done it right? Cool, so just delete them both and re-roll it all together, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, just re-roll it. It takes no damage, but re-roll it just so I can see that I've done it right. There we go, nice. And that's a d6, d8, and a d12. Good. Still working out some kinks and tweaks, guys. Apologies. Motherfucker. Mother trucker, dude. <laughs> Anything from John? Uh, like a bunch uh, of I have nothing I can do for my bonus on you. That is end of turn. Well, there. Let's find out what this guy likes to do. Put spurs, creatures, blah, blah, blah. Through. Do one extra damage die if it hits with it. Okay, cool. I so, he's going to attack you with his morning sword. And 19, I'm assuming, hits. Yep, AC 16. Okay, 12 damage. Oh, that's a fucking beast! Mm -hmm. Damn, that's a lot of goddamn blood. Yeah! Uh, yeah. Yep, alright. Next up, Babis. Yes. Um, I think it's time for you to get angry, little guy. Yes, I agree. Uh, I want to rage. Hey, big guy. The sun's <laughs> getting real low. <laughs> <laughs> Passing the giant. Um, wild rage. Doesn't that change me from a small creature to a large? Uh, uh what the fuck? Believe so. I'll get the book just now. I'll also mm -hmm. do a As you got the path, but yeah, I don't know if unlocks at level three or not. That's what I'm gonna double check. Um, this this is why I have source books. <laughs> um, so barbarian path of the giant. Um, mm, okay. So oh, it's to, third level. Yeah, so third right level. right now you're normal, but um Yeah, I think you're I think you're still good for everything. So am I a large creature or still small? You're still a small so, creature. However, yeah. being small, I believe rage says there, um plus two to damage, advantage and strength checks, and saving throws. So, you have resistance, but until third level, you're attacking with disadvantage. Unless you use a non great weapon. Yeah, cool. I'm just going to use a hand axe then. Actually, no. I'm, wait, which one would do more damage? Does hand axe or javelin do more damage at this point in time? That's a good question. I think they're both think D6s. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'm, just yeah. Goblet, I'm just going to stab this goblin. I'm just going to chop this goblin with my hand axe. Just. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, check it. Alright, roll for attack. What the Ooh. fuck? Uh, just rolls right into a tree. I have advantage. No, that's attack rolls. Uh, you could use your, what's it called, uh, Bardic Inspiration to add a d6 if you wanted. Not I one would... always messes on attacks. Yeah. Rolls are written. Yeah, true. Uh, reckless attack is a bonus action, isn't it? Um, I don't know, King, how... Are you wanting? Are you wanting like reckless declared before or after the attack? Uh, before the attack. Okay. So it doesn't take like a bonus action on anything. It's just regular. It's just you just do it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, then we're off side turn because I can't do anything else. Mirian. Mirian. Okay. I'm going to uh, assume that there is like a stone or something on the floor that's like a pound roughly in weight. Sure. Nice. So, uh, I'm going to, uh, cast this on said stone and have it hit this bug bed looking dude. And because it becomes a projectile, I'm also going to, uh, add, uh, Strike of the Giants to it. Specifically the fire damage one. So I'm gonna add a, gonna add another extra D10 to that. So, uh, 
Oh, wait, there's already done it. So the six. So that's 25 damage on a failed save. Four. Was that okay? Now say, what if I told you he's dead? Is he passed that 13? Um, so does it take, he rolls a 18 to take half damage? No, it just misses him. Oh, okay. On a failed save, there's no... Actually, it doesn't say. Yeah. Usually if it doesn't say, it means you don't take any damage. It just says, on a failed save, the object strikes. It doesn't say what happens if it misses. That's a first level spell, by the way. Hmm. That's probably why it doesn't say. <laughs> Alright, so he moves out of the way and laughs. <laughs> uh, at the same, and then for my bonus action, uh, I'm doing that, so uh, I just move back to next to a boss man over here. Not, okay. uh, and that, obviously, no opportunity attack, so. We Gucci. That's the end of my turn. Goblin up top shoots again at <coughs> the last samurai over here. I don't know why I said that. Uh, Nax does a 13 hits. Got it. Oh, yeah, hello. Does a 13 no. hit? No. No. Okay. As the end of his turn. Zohan. Zohan. I am um, standing here. Uh, we'll take the longbow, put it on my back, and pull out my other short sword. So I'm kind of dual wielding some short swords here. And I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna pull a Richard. Oh, not a Richard. <laughs> and I am going to. I'd say I've been reading my Dungeon Master's Guide, but that's a fucking lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's just on the back of the sheet. Um, Hang on a second, you're a player. That's illegal. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, where the fuck is it? Ah, d d d d d d d d d d b d b do do. There we go. Um, so I'm going to take my short sword and I'm going to attack ye old bugbear right here. And I need a strength. Uh, be that there it says here. Athletics or acrobatics against that 24. Athletics or acrobatics? Yeah. Athletics or acrobatics against the 24. Miserably. Then the morning star is out of its hand, and as it does, I'm gonna then take the off hand. It's gonna up, bring the off hand in, and just try to jam it right under the fucking ribs. Uh, oh. Another fucking one. <laughs> oh man. What a chill. Fucking what? He says you hit like a girl. At least I've got a weapon. Ew. Oh. Apparently you don't know how to it's, a, it's a free action. He may hit like a, like a girl, but at least he can fuck your bitch. <laughs> it's a free action right. to pick a weapon up off the ground. It's free real estate. The DM yeah, does know that. I'm <laughs> <laughs> here to talk to you about your car's no, warranty. Telling the, the ranger to do it. <laughs> I already used my free action. I could put away a weapon to pull out another oh, okay. weapon. <laughs> Babis. Yes. Scimitar yes. comes right at you and strikes. See, this goblin rolls a 22 and does 6 damage. Half the 3 because raging. Oh, yeah. Ow! And then, <laughs> takes his nimble escape and he disengages. Opportuno attack it? Nimble escape, he doesn't uh... provoke opportunity of attack. It's a bit like my temptuous magic thing. Which is broken as. And shoots an arrow at Boone. 
Uh oh. Oon. No. <laughs> oh, no. Not Oon. And he misses with an eight. Arguably, Good. everyone's doing better than Joe right now, who is currently bleeding. <laughs> He's currently dying. And Boon, it's your turn to go. Alright. Uh, which one of these two in the south has taken... This guy's taken some damage, right? Mm, I think so, yes. Yeah. Okay, then I'll be doing the same thing. Uh... Just making fun of him for running away. You had a small okay. penis, sir. So he's got to make a wisdom save. I'd say pick on someone your own size, but you're a midget too. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Oh, yeah. So what did he? Do? What did he get? Oh, oh, he he just shrivels in pain. It's like, oh, you didn't have to hit there. Hey, three six. Six. So that's uh, three okay. psychic damage. And he has a disadvantage on his next attack. Ooh. I think it's just like a cannon it? event. And that's that, it for uh, my turn. I think it's cannon every time uh, a vicious mockery is cast. You know, the emotional damage guy, he just appears and says that. <laughs> Corey. <laughs> right, hello there. Back to me. So. I just kind of look back over at the bugbear that's still fighting a uh, show and I turn my attention to the fucker that tried to attack me and I can't I can't remember what one it was. <laughs> I think it was this dude. That one. Feels like I'm going to just walk towards him and just look up at him and go, really? First, I'm going to have to use this one. Can I just start letting my fingers twingle together and I laugh and I go... Pick a hand. Before he even gets the answer, I just go... Skadoosh! That's all real. Damn! <laughs> Pick a hand. Pick a hand. Pick a hand, motherfucker. <laughs> Bang. Is that like pull my finger? No, no just pick a hand which one I shoot you with. <laughs> He's obliterated, mate. And I, I turn to the goblin behind me and I go, and you're fucking next. <laughs> Do you want me to do an intimidation check for that one? Yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. He is quite shook. But the bugbear is not. As revenge, he's going to take your friend. And he's going to sh shatter him with another morning star. If he misses, he has to fall down. I don't think he missed, mate. <laughs> Fuck. Sorry, he I rephrase that. He doesn't fall down. But he is. But still proud. Did he hit or did he miss? Can, can, can I make a thing if they're on the ledge? If they got nat one and they're doing a swing attack, they have to fall down now. <laughs> oh, it yeah, would make like, sense. They go for a swing fall. and they just they cunt it down the hill. Wait, why? Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Alright, Babis. Um, yeah. Go. I'm just gonna chuck a javelin into the goblin that ran away from me. Away, sir. Just a casual, how dare you run from me? <laughs> uh, Fuck him up, Babis. Not, it's not letting I me. Cannot, that is, it just that says. Is, I oh. Um, yeah, I'm seeing that. Give me a sec there, mate. Um, I can very quickly fix that. Um, the see it comes up with an error. <laughs> the given role is undefined. Uh, 1d20 plus 6. Piercing. What the fuck? You've got 4 javelin. Remember that. Okay. J 
javelin, javelin, javelin. I made you out of clay. And let's try. There you go. Is Bardic Inspiration for damage or is that for the hit? For the hit. Yeah, for the hit. Okay. I do, so I don't need it. Damage. Strong enough to get him straight in the heart and pin him to a tree. That's what you get for running from me. Do you anything else to turn? I just stare at the other goblin who I can clearly see. Little guy's English gets better when he's angry. <laughs> Man. All right. I'm going to aim at this dude again. And I'm going to cast Mind Sliver. Ooh. He fails and takes three damage. Uh, and... Yeah, the next saving throw. Uh, he's gonna take obviously 1d4 off, so I'm just gonna shout to Joshan, push him down the ledge. <laughs> I'll try. Anything else for your turn? Uh, that'll be the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. Right. Um. So I am going to actually position myself. I can't really get there because of the the walling, but the square that would be here, so that way <laughs> I am technically behind him. Yeah. I'll then take my offhand. You there, but you wouldn't be able to see. <laughs> yeah, I prepped this. I know there's a square there. Yeah. I'm gonna take my offhand. I'm gonna pull it up on him to kind of up it on the chin. That's pathetic and good, but good damage. The fuck. And then yeah, um, I am gonna try and shove him down. Shove. The actions here again, Matthew. Dude, there we go. Shove. Um, move an opponent. Or make them prone. Um, strength athletics check. Um, okay, so I just got to make a strength check. Um, or. Oh, fuck. Really? Your DC is 15, by the way. Alright, I'm going to ask. I'm going to. I'm gonna ask, can I use my athletics as opposed to? Oh, it actually says athletics. That's cool. Never mind. Oh, yeah. right. charisma's my dump stat. It's cool. Uh, I'm gonna try and just push him down. Meets it, beats it. Yeah. Yeah. Yay! So he, you have a giant wrestling tussle, and you find yourself at a stalemate. None of you move. You can't move each other. Do you want to think Hold on. He, yeah, actually, did he, yeah. Did he lose that 1d4? Wait, what, where's the timer? Oh, wow, uh, the tracker was blocking the timer, my bad. That's right, I've got that. Um, yeah, he's... That both loses 1d4. Just use it as next... Color. Wait, is it next save or ability check? Yeah, it was the next saving throw. This isn't oh, a saving throw, it's it just a... It's just an ability Sorry. check versus ability check. Yeah it's, yeah, it's just an ability check, so it doesn't count. Okay. You've seen the bugbear got. You've seen the bugbear got a fifteen as well. Yes. Ah, uh, yeah. So, cool. I mean, it's just the order of things. Apologies. Yeah. Uh, e O T. Okay. Okay. Oh. Wait. Is that the goblin is dead? No, he got no, intimidated. All right. So. As intimidated as you may be, he is going to attack the threat, the biggest threat, and is clearly that right now. So he is going to. to oh my goodness! That's that's in that twenty, right? That yeah. twenty, and that's going to be a lot of damage. Oh, I took yeah. more. Yeah, but he's a spellcaster. Spellcasters don't get much. So you take 11 damage. Ow. Uh, yeah. This, this makes me sad that I no longer have fucking Hellish Rebuke. He's also going to use Nimble Escape to hide on his turn. He's going to do a quick... Ch Wait, what? Check Stealth check, Dex. Oh. Okay. Oh, goodness. Alright. <laughs> And he disappears on the woods. 
Boon, your turn. Uh, is, um, what's his name, Down? Our mm -hmm. little green buddy, did he get knocked unconscious there? Which one? Uh, I don't know, Josh. I'm, I'm, I'm good. We, we hustled and we tussled, but both of us stand here. Mm. Okay. I will come over here. I'd like to come look for this, for this goblin jerk. Okay. Make a perception check. Perception check. Do, 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 do. That is right here. I am. 19. You look around. I'm pretty perceptive. But you don't quite see him. Oh, not perceptive enough. All right. Uh, did that take up my action, or can I shoot my crossbow? Mm, actually, don't know the rule about You know that, Scottish? Uh, top of my head? Uh, looking for someone in that regard? I think that's just free? I'm not reading mm. anything here, so I would... I'd argue that it's free to look for the target, but, you know. Okay. Yeah, let's okay. go with that. Right now. So I'm just going to pull my little, I have a little crossbow at my waist. When I can't see that little guy turn around, find the bugbear, uh, take aim and shoot for 10 piercing. It was a 17 to hit. I believe that hits. Yeah. And he eats that right in, is that a max? Yep, right in a vital spot. Oof. Good hits. Little Good guy's hit. gone. And that's the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. Not. Corey. Hello. Um. Okay. This this is a point where I just kind of waddle, step over the horse, and go over to the bugbear and go. Oi! Prick! At my mate's eye! Oh, let's see if this one works a second time. Fucking work. I just point the finger out and smile and go, You hear them bells? Dang, dang, a lang, dang, dang, a lang. <laughs> <laughs> What was that, King? Oh, how fucking back. wise is this guy? Shut up! Sorry, King, go on. Oh, he passes. 16. As a bonus action, as I know there's still one hiding, I'm getting very fucking angry at this point that these fuckers are starting to hide. And I just kind of crouch down the ground and start laughing and go... <sighs> That gives him a that gives him a spell slot back. He burns a channel divinity for a spell slot. Okay. <sighs> I just smile at him and I go, <laughs> fun. Father help. As you're done with your tussle, oh. you stupid. Does he even know what you are? I don't think so. I'm fucking alien. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> he is he, he's an alien. As he smashes his morning star into you once again for a miss 12. Is he 16? Oh my goodness. Ooh. He was trying to hurt you too. He was oh my What was the damage on that? 15. Oh, I'd be fine. I'd be lying in the ground. It's like oh. <laughs> Dead after oh, the first that game. Bad intention. He just put, puts the like uh he damages the earth with that one. But you dodge with great skill. In turn. Babis. Yes. You're go. What do you want to do? I have 30 foot. Father hell. Oh. So I'm gonna run straight up to this guy and stab him in the ass. <laughs> Alright. Um, aren't, aren't you like seven yeah. feet tall at this point? You would need to stab him in the ass. No, I'm still short. Oh. Level mm. three, he gets big. 
So you take uh, out your javelin and you do the pokey pokey in the the no no zone. And, and it turns the bugbear around. Miss the no no zone as the bugbear senses this very uh, sus behavior and moves. Uh, do you have anything else with your turn? Ah, no. Okay, Mirren. Okay, I'm going to aim up at him and uh, cast Firebolt. What? Firebolt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I heard ball as well. Fire. Not fireball, firebolt. Yeah, like a fireball with the nearly dead person right next to him. I'd be more concerned that a level 2 is fireball. Exactly. Yeah, true. Ooh. And that's the end of my turn. I'm gonna quickly go toilet. Ah, oh, fuck, you killed him! Hey, that's how? Right. Um... Would I have been aware that a goblin jumped into those bushes out of curiosity? Um... Make a... Pulse Ominous Perception check. The Pulse Ominous. Salmonous, that's a word that I don't know. Do, 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 do. No. Ominous. <laughs> it's actually... Oh wait, no, actually... Your teammate did yell it, but you were a little bit busy with your tussle with the bugbear to pay any attention to anything but this fight. Understandable. Um, I will come down from here. And can I, I'm going to make the assumption that our cart... I, I think our cart would technically be about here. It's great how they don't give you that on the map. Okay. And I am going to kind of Hold an action to sh shoot an arrow, so swords out, swords in, bow out, and hold an action for anything that seems to come towards that isn't friendly. End of turn. Alright, so, as Boone was attacking uh, the bugbear, the goblin takes this opportunity to come out of hiding, and attack in melee range with a seminar oh son of a bitch he's a, back a whole seminar seminar <laughs> today's <laughs> ted talk you, oh. you, 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 you guys don't use t's either fuck you <laughs> All right. yes we do yeah but i it, can i can tell you right now that i use a lot of t's when i speak but also isn't it not a scimitar it scimitar is, scimitar but for some reasons i didn't feel like <laughs> Hey, what happened to my armor? What do you mean? You a bitch, you lost it. <laughs> no, what do you it's mean? It's not my character's inventory. Yeah, it's a uh, studded leather armor you've got equipped. Ooh. Uh, oh. <laughs> see how your armor class is now 12? No, it's now 14. Uh, oh, I see it. Okay, I had, uh, had it filtered by action, so it was only showing. What That's happens right. and stuff. So I was in fact not here for a moment. Um, he does a little running away again. Uh, no, he, he got that one. He has to fall down the hill. He's down the hill. Fuck is that? Yeah, so it, this is like plateaued. So like, where Baba says that's up where you are. That's on no standard level where Boon and the Goblin is. That's technically lower. Oh. oh, so we're higher than they are. Yeah, well, but bar barring Boon, poor Boon. Um, mm -hmm. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Oh, so 30's over here. Okay. Fuck okay, out, I'm just over here. Anyways, okay. Boom. Uh, I'm gonna shoot him. Aw, oh, just three oh, damage. I, I, I was trying to measure shit and it kept doing that. And I will holler to my, uh... I got it, don't worry. I'm measuring how far something is. Use your ruler tool, my friend. There you go. I am um, at mid boxes. Alright, so. Anything else with yeah. you? Uh, no, that's it. Just shouting to everybody that he's, he's heading this way. So, you see that little ruler tool I've been using this whole time? Yeah, that that's just your standard ruler, mate. Yeah, so there's a reason why I've been measuring. Uh. 
I'm gonna use my bonus action first. Yeah. I'm gonna rub my hands together, do some mad gang signs, and just shout, <laughs> "West Side, Raven Queen, bless me!" I have her As time. I just teleport right next to the little fucker. Corey, you oh, can go there. Don't go there. Oh shit! Damn it, Corey! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Hold up, I got you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> there we go. As I teleport next to the fucker, smile and go, hiya. Donk. I'll mm. get Corey back into an issue real quick for you, oh, okay? No, you Ooh, okay, no problem. Uh, ah, go exactly where I was. Nice. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I rolled exactly where I was. Nice. Nice one. Yeah. Just barely miss as you. Cut the creature's cheek. Hold on. Cody can, uh, Cody, can you do me a favor real quick, mate? Depends. See the big green pulsating thing? Mm hmm. Can you just click in it? Uh, no, let me. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Ah, go ahead. It's. I think the game paused, that's why. It's not, no, it's not letting like me. Oh, ah. oh it's probably because it's Babis' turn. Uh, Give me a second, we refresh. Don't worry, no, no, it's it's server oh, thing, fuck. don't worry. Ah, shit, shit. It's your, ah, do you know what it'll be? It's your Raven's Queen Blessing. Mm hmm so I'll repop it, sorry. Because it is just gonna... There we go, green one gone, pop you there like that. Apologies there, say hi. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, that's why. Um, excuse me as I move. We're all the way over here. And then chuck a javelin down at the goblin. Okay. Throw your javelin. You throw your javelin, you strike it, and once again, you pick it to a tree like a freaking dart. <laughs> I'm gonna collect my two javelins. Alright. Wait, what's, what's the rule one part to my javelins and arrows and stuff? Um. Arrows is like half your arrow. The way I run it is like half your arrows back. But they're all I, they're also more fragile than javelins. So entirely up to you if you want to run it the same as arrows or otherwise. Hey, hi, this is what we would call an ad break, but we don't have sponsors, so we're just going to do a little advertisement and say once again, once more, uh, Tessa Presents Maps. You can find all of our details on DM's Guild if you just type in Tessa Presents in there. Uh, you can get maps for all the campaigns, as well as some miscellaneous maps as well, to my knowledge. This is a good time to pause, by the way. Um, you know, if you need to go to the toilet, maybe you want to call it. Uh, advertising myself, I suppose, here. Uh... Coming soon to you next month is Baldur's Gate Descent into Avernus. Yep, you've been seeing the shorts for that. Get ready for the full thing. We have plenty to go. Uh, you also have your Dragonlance as well. I have been collecting more Dragonlance stuff. So we now have three books in the folder, which is enough to start doing stuff. We've been messing with Dungeon Alchemist, as you may have saw. So we'll have some maps coming from there as well, hopefully. All in the course as well as that we will have the next campaign after Dragonlance but until then um yeah you, you might have skipped this you might have waited I don't know either way let's get back to the game no you can yeah you can get all your javelins back I'm a pee real quick oh we got I, I have all four javelins back where are you keeping those things In my bag, obviously. <laughs> the rage slowly starts to wear off. Uh, I don't know. Right. Can you guys hear anything? Because I cannot. Yes. Yep. Oh, that's nighttime. Ooh, that's what I was going for. 
meanwhile, as I look for the spaceship and the guys come back, um, you guys are free to move around, look around. What do you want to do? There's a trail over this way. Oh, right. Babish is... Who's dead? There it is. Everybody's dead. Babish just yelled to everyone else, like, who is dead? I'm fine! So, but fine. I'm completely fine. Just didn't get touched. Oh shit, some of you are supposed to be surprised. Oh. Uh, we almost died and you wanted to use the rule of surprise? I'll fuck you up with a spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck is that so funny? You know what's even funnier? Green screen, watermelon. I'm eating nothing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what's even better? I bought an entire ass pineapple at the shop, cut it up, and I'm currently eating it with a skewer. Same time. Is that so when the boys get I a mouthful of it? Tastes good? Bomb. I was about to bomb your fucking barracks if you said put it on a pizza. <laughs> Honestly, pineapple on pizza ain't that bad. Shut the fuck up. This it, is, it, it, we're not that starting that debate here. Uh, it's not terrible. It, it's only good on Hawaiian pizza or with barbecue sauce. I want to. I want to say things that will get me cancelled. Mm. Please don't. I know. Try it. I will find you. I will hunt you down. I consider and all I'll of these people cave friends. Your knees with a baseball bat. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I forget I work with computers. I can very easily track you down. So, King, yeah, what's up? And I'll be waiting with a knife and a baseball bat. Try Ladies, me. King, what's up? You won't. <laughs> oh, no, I'm just reading the the book itself for a second. Like, see the rule book for more information on short rest and long rest. I'm assuming. Player's handbook, EMG. Oh, okay. Jesus. Ah, uh, Jesus. Alright, oh, what do you guys want to do? Sleep. Gonna... Really? Sleep? Really? Uh, actually, you you, you and I both took pretty devastating hits. So, uh, who wants to take a long rest? Mm. We should okay. maybe okay, take an we... hour. Just took a something's... I drag myself along the floor, just... Uh, something's happened here. Fine. Just scrapes and bruises, a couple of bleeding gashes. I'm fine. You just look over at Moran, who's still just untouched, looking completely fine. Hey. Just like, mm, yeah. What happened to you guys? I want to take a little look here. See if I can clock if, you know, what's happened. Like, someone clearly owned these horses, was clearly doing things with these horses. Um, you know. You don't normally find two dead horses in the middle of a road without people somewhere. Roll an investigation check. Okay. Investigation, investigation. If only I'd been given guidance with that roll. That could have been a 10. Hey, finally. Finally. Familiar. <laughs> Actually, follow that up with a history check. History now, I'm good at that. I'm gonna oh, help. Oh, fuck him. off. Oh. They seem rather familiar to you, but you can't place your hand on exactly where you seem. Why do these horses seem familiar? Hmm. I'm going to. Maybe you met them before. I'm going to put my hand on his shoulder and go, Come on, buddy. I know you can figure this out and just, like, help him with my good wo kind words. Ironically or unironically? No, iro uh, no, like unironically. I'm just actually trying to help him. Roll the investigation check with advantage. Well, not not not, not a reroll, but like just click on the plus one. Uh, investigation. Yeah, the one you rolled before. Just, yeah, there you go. Ah, oh, it's come to me. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> 
Well, these horses have what appears to be saddlebags next to them. The saddlebags are clearly empty, but they seem to have a symbol on them. Looks like common initials. G-R. Hmm. You're gonna we hold just Austin's guess point. and just say like, "Oh, these are the horses from our dwarfy buddy." Like I've never done this module. It's not like meta gaming or anything. I've. It's not done pretty either. obvious. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you're good. You yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't remember his name. Like Jeff doesn't remember his name. I'm sure Boone does. Boone is smart. Yeah. I'm the, yeah. the thing that's coming to me is Gundam. I know it's not Gundam. It's very similar to Gundam. Gundam. Yeah. A, a, a lot of that cut out for me. Yeah. What? What exactly happened? You know. Um, we found saddlebags. Uh, the saddlebags have initials. Uh, G for golf, R for Romeo. Hmm. The They thing. belong to our dwarf friend, the one that hired us. Yes, whose name is Gundam. <laughs> I don't think it was, but there is horses. Was it Gungun? Definitely not that either. Gungun? What if it was just Gun? What if it's... What if it's... Tiefling. What if his name is just G-R? As in G-E-E -E and then R-A-R. Do you guys not know this man? <laughs> How'd y'all get here? <laughs> yeah. Which man are we talking? How do we know it's even a man? What if it's a woman? None of the above, and it's a, a, that. I mean, the little guy's touched. I expect this from him. But... <laughs> so, he's smart in his own ways. Who? Ah, uh, sure. Have you ever these... read the fable of Gump of Forest? <laughs> these ways may be, may be buried deep, deep inside. But they're there somewhere. What is Gump of Forest? <laughs> Your nan! <laughs> I'm trying to eat my watermelon, Corey. <laughs> oh, one of the ox with me, a wagon star story. <laughs> you did. I'm going to walk up to the ox. I'm going to place my hand on it. I'm going to be like, Stick up his ox. They're there, buddy. It's okay. Hold animal handling shirt. If you get in that one, it bites you. <laughs> The ox starts shaking his head and starts moving away from you. I'm gonna cast Speak with Animals. Mm -hmm. And as a do, I'm gonna go. But, but, where are you going? You, you were touching my nose. I don't like my nose touched. Apologies. Um. Is everything else okay? It's fine. It just seen riders, just other horses. I said other horses. Other <laughs> horses. Just laying there dead in front of me. Nothing's wrong. Would you like us to have... bury them? Oh, we could oh, go down the water, Davy, on route. Ask, ask the horse what the hay tastes like. It's an ox. Hey, uh, our egg man is talking to, talking to animals. You guys think he's all right? No. Uh, maybe. Probably. How hard did they hit you? Huh? Okay, I'm going to turn around. Cover the bodies. Please. Yeah, I love them, bro. I'm just gonna pick up the horse. <laughs> How the fuck are you picking up a horse that small? I need a, I'm gonna need a strength check from you, sir. Okay. <laughs> Mine gets a nat 20, I swear to fuck. 
I'm leaving for Las Vegas. I'm waiting for it. I'm leaving for it. I'm waiting for it. Oh, fuck. You. Use all your strength. You're able to lift the head up of the horse, but not much else. I kind of walk over and I'm like, you want help, little man? No, I'm fine. I just drag it over someplace. I, I grab the other one and drag it as well. The same place he's dragging that one. You both drag it to where, wherever you're going. There. We'll give yeah. them a proper burial. No, uh, we won't. At some point. I'm speaking ox, my G. <laughs> <laughs> just stay. I'm just imagining going. Ah, uh, move. Stay. Stay <laughs> close, but be safe. And I'll kind of pet it in the top of the head and not the nose. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> and I will go back to the party. So um. Which way should we go? Well, we were going towards town, weren't we? We found their horses, but... Where maybe are they? We should, maybe we should head towards town and get some help? I can uh, put my there. hand up and interrupt and I, I go... <laughs> um, there's two ways we can go. We can either go and I point up, like, like this way. We can either go that way. Because there's a big ass path, or we can go straight on. As I was saying, how about we go to the town we were going to get some help, like the local authorities? Um, weren't we not supposed to be the help? And isn't this satchel not the satchel of our friend? Does this not extend to our job? We were paid for protection and assistance. The person we were paid to protect is now missing. And that's why I'm saying, should we not allow the local authorities get a wider search? No, but here's the thing. If we alert the authorities that the guy we're paid to look after is missing, and that goes back to the guy who's paying for us to protect that guy, we ain't getting paid. If the guy yeah. we are being paid to protect is missing, then we did a shit also, job. Uh, and we aren't going to even get paid at the end of it, are we? That's what I just fucking said. You look, this is a sticking issue for me, but uh, I don't talk to cops. Yeah, neither fuck do I. Fuck the pig. Fuck snitches the get oh, yeah. stitches. <laughs> oh, hang on a second. Yes, I forgot. Fuck the feds and that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I'm from the Fey Wilds. I don't do much of this normally. Well, out here in Fey Room, we got a saying it's a gab, all right? All guards are bastards. You don't want to go talk to them. <laughs> I love it. So, is there any tracks leading anywhere out of curiosity? Make a survival check. Mm, I'm good at that. Actually, no, I'm not. Ma Ma Matthew, did you see? Is there a path nearby? No, I said, is there any tracks leading anywhere? Oh, right. Okay, I was like, motherfucker, you just ask if there's. It's found a couple of tracks, but they don't really seem to go in a designated path to your knowledge. You're not even sure what, le what left these tracks. Walk. <gasps> Anyone else got any ideas? I mean, nope. Well, uh, I ain't got anything. It's if we're not gonna go to town, then we're best off looking for this person. And I don't think they would have headed towards town. Uh, if, which way is town again? I. Uh, don't know. I don't have the map. I'm simply saying that because I, I generally don't know where we're traveling to currently. Um, who would have the map at your uh, GM's discretion? Um, I just have the map and not know where we're going. 
<laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, yeah. Because it looks like the thing, the ruler thing actually looks like a map. So the first thing I'm thinking that, yeah, it's a map. <laughs> <laughs> This battery. I have the map. I'm gonna lean over and just gonna take it and unfold it. Try get our bearings on this map to see where the town is. One side is actually a map, and the other half is just crayon drawings on the map. <laughs> <laughs> I have neither the time, the patience, nor the crayons to explain this to you. <laughs> Uh, yeah. So, would that put us here then? Yes, sir. Dooby dooby dooba. Who drove it this time? I would do that. I will. I'm just imagining someone gave Mavis a rope, telling him he's driving. Then I will. Take a look. Start doing some absolute mad mental <laughs> gymnastics. And I will then point to look around and east. And I'll point to that area that was technically off to the right hand side of the map. It's towards town, so that, point to the north, is the other direction that we should go to. <laughs> Let's head that way if there's no objections. If that's the way we want to go, then sure. As the man said, all gods are bastards. <laughs> The sentiment that uh, I can get behind. Well, at least you have local authority here. Why has the who who the fuck put duct tape over the fucking gnome's mouth? Mm. I should have the map. What duct tape? It's tape that goes quick. Look, look, look at Discord. Oh, and. Our uh, king's muted. Uh, say hi because. Yeah, yeah. My name. You see how he's a little shit. No. Uh, background noise when there's not a lot of background noise. Uh, yeah, sorry about that. My girl. Um, my girl would drop something and currently she can't pick stuff up off the floor. So she pushed it with the game all the way to my room so I could pick it up for her. <laughs> yeah, you little shit. Pick this up, yo, you bastard. <laughs> Do you pack like a fucking fat boy at his head? Pack that up, yeah, dick. <laughs> <laughs> See, when he thinks about football, he's thinking I'm talking about the fucking pigskin thing. I'm talking about an actual football football. No, I know what you're talking about. <laughs> Just half follies at your head like a crossbar challenge. <laughs> I'm just imagining a little lady buying a field goal. Joe will start walking to the north. Oh, we're going north, yay. I'm going to follow. Shotgun, I'm going to add we, we, we didn't even change maps. Ah, uh, I, can, I can't see. It's okay. Ah, uh, it's so oh, cool being on the other side of the transition. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's actually so cool being on the other side of that transition for a change. Uh, I have not transitioned. Well, there's pills for that. Oh, that's getting nice. me done. That's getting me done. I'm sorry. Oh, the gel porn's out. The gel porn's out. Fuck, hate it. Hmm. Then you can set the active map and it will drag people to the map. Because we've got all the tokens here. Okay. Okay. Hello? Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, I almost fell to my death. <laughs> oh. And just plugged everything out by accident, so I didn't see anything that happened. Cool. I've... Oh, there we are. I, as the right. excellent well, assistant game master that I am, have changed the map. Yeah. Alright. 
I know where we are! This is about as far as we got last night. Wait, 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 is everything the same? Don't know. Oh no, I know what's coming. Okay, for just being Corey? nice, I'm going to take a back step and let you guys do everything this time, because I know what's happening. Corey, I, Corey that, I, I'm, pr what? I'm pretty sure that is what we were doing that last part as well. Uh, I think I remember this. <laughs> this, this is really only about as far as we got last time, so like, you know. Wait, so this is that exact same one? Yeah, it's part, it's, it's part of change. the new module. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, it's Fandelver and below the Shattered Obelisk. Well, that one was just Fandelver. That only goes to 1 through 5, and then it's like, oh, happy ending. This one's like, not so happy ending. There's some other shit now. So it's 1 through... So it's 1 through 11 as opposed to 1 through 5. Oh. Yeah, sure, across the water and fit these... Wait, 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 wait. Corey, so shut up. Since we started level 2, are we going... One through tw what? Two, two through twelve, or is it still going to be two through eleven? No, um, I said to King, based off of our past experiences, um, with this, and given just how fucked shit can be, that maybe having us start at level two, and then getting level three when we should get level three, works better. And given that we'd all be fucking unconscious if not dead. Were that not the case? We, I, I took fucking, I took 12 damage. That would have killed me. I'd have been lying there giving the twitches. Yeah, I think, I think it'd been a bit over dramatic, honestly. Uh, I'm a ranger. I've got a D8 nah. head die. Bit over dramatic, that. Alright. What were you guys doing? Well, we arrive here. I made a mistake. <laughs> oh, shit. Don't do that. Too late. <laughs> right. It's the way Where... you came away with that. Where are we? I can't get out of this now. I can see a goblin. I... <laughs> He's locked us in, but it's okay. It's alright. We'll see what happens. It's, I mean, it's probably like a roll initiative moment, but um, let me get to that point in the book. Crack my head out. Yes, sir. And the there we go. Following the oh. goblin's trail, you come across a large cave in a hillside uh, five miles from the scene of the ambush. A shallow stream flows out of the cave mouth, which is screened by dense barrier thickets. A narrow path leads into the cave on the right side of the stream. And as you already came bursting in, um... <laughs> fuck, I'm just gonna say roll initiative. He's a barbarian. Stealth was never an option. Alright. Uh, uh, King, you need yep. to place the goblins in uh, initiative. There we go. We can all roll in there, guys. Nice. Watermelonos completos. What a delicious Ah, uh, yes. I rolled a four this time. <laughs> Better than that one. What am I looking at? I haven't rolled yet. Boom with a 21! Got a 13. That's ominous. <laughs> Pardon me. So are you still, um, extremely wounded there? Yep. Okay. Yeah, we have two bloodied characters, and that's not great. Yep. What are you doing? What do you mean? What am I doing? Um, goblins. Huh? Goblins just disappear. Um, the goblins shouldn't have disappeared. Yeah. Oh. You're. You must be view it. You must be trying to view it through someone else's vision. Yeah. Well. Just turn that shit off. Mm -hmm. Only if some, oh, I'd say only if like someone says, "Can I see this? Can I see what's in front of me?" And you know, you want to actually, if it's like, you know, they're seeing a fucking millimeter of a token, that's when I put that on. Okay. 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 Okay.
Um, up first? Well, actually, Noct hasn't rolled in. Apparently, the goblins have not either. Cody. Yeah, give me a second. Sick. Oh, Nox, nice. Yeah. Alright. Kaboom. I am going to cast uh, Cure Wounds on the little guy. Why don't me, you fucking wank? Cure Wounds? Cure touch spell? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You casting Cure Wounds on her? Yeah, on the little guy. On Babis. And, uh... Does he still have Bardic Inspiration? How long does that last? Ten minutes. Mm -hmm. So probably not. I'd say for about two rounds. We right, walked better five. Use it. We walked five miles in under ten minutes. Uh, <laughs> all right, so he doesn't. Okay, then I will uh, give Babis Bardic inspiration and be like, "All right, little buddy, you get as angry as you can." <laughs> uh, okay, I want to. This isn't serious, but I just want to make it just throw me. <laughs> and that's, that's the end of my turn. <laughs> mm -hmm. nah. uh, nine wounds healed. Let me just. So, two. Um, I think 24. Yeah, there we go. I got it. Cody! Fucking mic's not working. There we go. Hello, hello, hello. Mike wasn't working. I was fucking talking the whole time. Great. So, uh... Be out back. Um, yeah, uh, I'm very hurt, so I'm gonna burn that uh, little spell slot I got back to cure wounds on myself because I'm an asshole. You still hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anything cool. else? Uh, at this moment in time, I am going to do nothing. I haven't been attacked yet. Goblin. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. However. Yeah, I got that one little bitch. He tries to throw an arrow at Mirren. A small arrow comes through the wall, that, I mean, not wall, the bushes that you're standing next to, and completely veers past you. Oh, it's your next. How would you view me blindly firing into there to try and hit a goblin or such? Um, Am I looking at a flat roll or a disadvantage here? Hmm, or just not at all? I'd say, um... I'd say you can shoot it at disadvantage. Fuck it! Here we go, boys. I'm gonna pull back the arrow. Pull back the bow, hit the arrow, and... Straight through a nine. <clears throat> okay. Okay. And I will... Lie down prone. Of turn. I hate that shit so much. Um, <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Why, 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 not, why not work? What, oh, Cody, you're on the measuring tool, which is like for instead of doing that oh. click top right hand side, and then there's an Got actual it, yeah. roller in the second. Yeah, sorry. Force habit. I'll delete your me's. Pause, cool. motherfucker. Oh, ah. comes out and. Attacks you with a scimitar at 20 hits for a 6 damage. 
Oh my goodness. Damn. And he disengages with the escape. And oh, no, you can't go past you can't go through here. Move over here! In turn. That is angry. Nah. Man, get fucking angry. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, if this is the last combat for now. Mm. And stab. Oh, damn. Oh, shit, hold on. <laughs> damn! Just sacrifice your minion, I guess. Exactly. Welcome. Ooh, letters. You stick the other goblin in the... the arm. The shoulder, actually. Do anything else with him? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Goblin Boston throws a counterattack. And he's going to scimitar you. Also, the question, does that invoke opportunity of attack since he technically... No, he didn't leave melee, did he? No, he's not. He's still in melee range. Uh, a 13 misses and a 7 misses. So he misses two strikes. And ends his turn. Yeah. Miren. Miren. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yep. Chasing your fucking here. rat. Yeah, I'm here. I'm just fucking <laughs> zoning out. In the face of disappointment when the last guy's voice. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm gonna aim at this little fucking penis down there. Fucking smelly little dick. I'm going to, uh, Look at him, and you know, check that. Boink! So you shoot a firebolt and... Oh. ...miss. Crap! <laughs> I'm then just gonna, like... ...move here and just be like... ...I'm just gonna hide here, you know. I'm a snack! I'm not a snack. I have owies. <laughs> okay. I... Man, how many spell slots do I have left? Spell book. Oh, fuck me. Wow. Um, it says that I only... Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. It's just goblins that we can see here. We could, nothing big or mean or anything. You can see a goblin. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to shoot him with my crossbow. Oh shit, that's just an 11. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm bonus action shrug, and I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> Matt. I'm pretty sure that would be a free action, bro. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Corey. It's a big Ooh. shrug. So I'm gonna I'm look over and see the little goblin just sitting there looking at us, waiting to do something. Just kind of wave at him, slowly walk over towards him. Nope, because uh, I'm not grabbing my fucking thing, that's mission. Walk over towards him and look at him and go, Did that feel good? good. Yeah? Yep. Okay. Fuck. I probably could have reasoned with them, honestly, because I do speak under common, but I really forgot. <laughs> Doing anything else? I might even describe that. Just doing anything else with your turn. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna be relatively smart now. I'm just teleport back up here. Don't drag. Click within the circle, mate. Oh. Just... Yeah, yeah. I, I just did like a Goku instant transmission. Give him the finger. Blossom away from him. Fuck you, bitch. 
This goblin, I'm totally happy with being sacrificed, but he attacks none the same. 14 hits, the 15 hits. Yes. <clears throat> Past? Raging? Oh, raging, yeah. You're right. I caught your back, sir! Yes, thank yeah, you. Yeah, that didn't happen <laughs> last time either. The damage wasn't halved. Either. Well, it was halved. I halved it after you. I will stand up, uh, move to here, make it hard for that goblin. Uh, I'm like, oh my god, what's going on here? Uh, fuck. I will then... Mm -hmm. I will. Favored foe, the goblin boss, because he looks like that type of guy that needs it. So I'll run a favored foe now. I will. Ah, oh, fuck, I can't do that. Right, killing okay, a favored foe. I was also going to Hail of Thorns, but that's concentration as well. Um, So, favored foe. 17 for 4. Uh, 17 hits. Plus, uh, so a total of 6 damage. Mm -hmm. And doo -doo -doo -doo, can't do not much else. I really should have brought some throwing stuff. End of turn. So, this I have there. thrown stuff, but I'm kind of in the middle of melee range, so there's no point. Ah. Nacht, he's a fire in his laser. He did not like this middle finger, sir, Matt. So, he deals eight slashing damage. And let's end the turn. Babis. Yes? You go. I'm gonna attempt to stab the war chief. Okay. Roll for attack. 18 hits. Piercing. Alright, do anything else with your turn? Uh, no, because I keep forgetting to do reckless attack. Alright, so the goblin boss does a counter attack. Ooh, ooh. He does. Uh, I don't know what a half of that is. Uh, half a five would be two. That's a quick half damage. Yep. <clears throat> then... Luckily, he rolled a one. Yeah, right. He has multi attack? Yes, he has. I get multi attack on a couple levels from now. Wait, I just, I just did that to myself. Oh. Don't worry. If you took the damage off of yourself, that's fine. We can live with that. Am I right, guys? Yeah. All right. You'd want that, wouldn't you? Right. And the first turn. Yeah, nice. Okay. So, I don't like that he's that close, so I'm going to move over here. Is the boss dead? Uh, you being safe, I'm over here just stabbing. Is the boss dead? Uh, no! Uh, I'm then gonna move. Yeah. Oh, he's down here. Uh, I'm just gonna be like... Can I just squeeze past you here? Yeah. Move on over to the side a little. You know, and just like... I'm gonna go like, on there and then like, there. Sort of thing. Then I'm going to take out one of my crossbow bolts, throw it up into the air, and cast a uh, catapult on it. Aiming at the, uh, aiming at this dude. The goblin boss. Okay. Uh, and, yeah. Oh! Oh! That was a hard hit. Nice. Uh, that'll be the end of my turn. Mm -hmm. 
Boom. All right. I'm going to shoot my crossbow again. We'll give that another shot. 23 and 7 at this little goblin. He is this? Yeah. Or his old health bar. <laughs> Fucking <not>. deleted. <laughs> mm -hmm. You shoot him right in the middle of the forehead. <laughs> Got him. And that's it for my turn. Thumbs up. <laughs> nah, so, no. question. Is this square open? It is. If you're doing what I think you're gonna do, I'm pretty sure you need to be able to see. Oh, never mind, you're just gonna run to it. <laughs> there's there's there is wall there, Corey. That's the the only thing, you gotta go the long way, mate. Boop, boop, boop. Actually, I won't go there. It's getting very comfortable in here, guys. And I, I as I've kinda of walked around, I go, Ah, there's one left. Perfect. Does it hit? That one. I'm trying to find out. No. Ooh. Barely misses. Fuck. Only just. Jaza! <laughs> Oh Jesus. oh, Jesus. He only takes half. <laughs> He's raging. That's how I remember. These right. things hit like little trucks. They do. <laughs> well, also second left. I am going to take Good. the the Lombo, having seen what's go on, going on. Trying to help, we'll make a, a left and a right. You know, we're going like, you know, that American style college football. You know, ducks left, weaves right, 180s. Kind of pulls out both the short swords and just tries to bring both in. You know, collarbone style. And <laughs> just. I'm <laughs> out. There goes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, That's Dodges your attacks. Next. Oh, hold up. Babis. Was... <coughs> Babis, do the bonk. Okay, I use my hand axe and cut it. God damn it. It won't let me do the hand axe either. Oh, I'll get that added for you just now. Uh, roll a javelin Black because it's the same. Roll, that, that, uh, roll a javelin because it's the same damage die. D6. <laughs> There we go. Oh damn! You stab it in the heart. Whack is bonkers. Imagine that, but it's an axe. <laughs> oh yeah. Whack is bonkers through the middle. Throw your axe at his heart, <laughs> and then. I don't know I'm two feet in front of me. <laughs> the gnome just jumps midair and just fucking slams down like he tried to chop down a piece of wood. There you go, mate. Added it to your sheet. Thank you. <laughs> yes, 10 XP. Don't worry, it's, it's milestones. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's just what I needed to hear. No, messes is home. No, running water. Ah. <laughs> uh. Is that a beater posey with a dice tower in it? Yeah, what? Fucking no. Yeah, I guess so. Hmm. Why is there so much water there? There will be no more context to that. Nope. So, while he's doing the little wee wee, uh, what do you guys want to do? Mm. Die. Who wants to play patty cake? Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't open a ball and die. Ugh, same. I will, in fact, be poking. The Why are you goblin. poking, you fucking weirdo? I want to search the goblins for money. All right. That's a very good idea. Cool. I'm just 
poking the one in front of me with a spear for no reason. He said the goblin, so I'm gonna search the goblin boss for money. How do I go about that? <laughs> uh, det I myself determine whether or not certain creatures would have anything on them at that time, mm -hmm. and then just depending upon how good the roll is. That's okay, so, like Unless, like, you know, there's any... Sp Unless, like, you know, say the creature has something very particular. Like, um... In Dragonlance, the Draconians all carry longswords that are enchanted with additional 1d4 fire damage. That's so, like, cool. you know, even on the lowest roll, if you got hit with that, you know it's magical in some way, shape, or form. So mm -hmm. you'd get it if you didn't already ask for it. That's... Again, that's me. So it's like an investigation check? Uh, investigation to give a thorough search. The way I do it is investigation for a thorough search and slight a hand check if you want to give them, like, you know, the good old get your hands in the air, let me frisk your pockets, do you have anything sharp on you that may injure me as I search your pockets? Mm -hmm. You know? At this one time you're under arrest, I'm going to be searching under section 32 of the Pace Act, give anything established, like me or poke me. Yeah. Yeah. He's he's it's like, I will... I've actually had to give that uh, exact okay, line, you know. I'll give it. I'll give it the slight. <laughs> I'll give it the slight of hand. Just you know, tap in oh. pockets and such to see if I hear anything. He's one of them. Agab, Agab. Fun. You see a scimitar and a shield. Um. You know what? I'll take the shield. Can I try that on the goblin boss? Sure. Uh, wherever he is. I'm taking no, a stand like, I'm on him. No, look through him, the goblin boss. I can go ahead. I deleted him, so you could just go ahead and make a... Investigation. That would be investigation, right? Yep. Let's see. Oh, fuck, man. I gotta find him again. Goblin boss, I think, has roughly the same... Could be wrong. Okay. Um, but I want to check something else real quick. Add this to my sheet. Please don't judge me for having a paper sheet as well. So you see um, the same thing. Paper, paper, paper sheets are okay. Plus you know. a um a lopsided chunk of a certain stone. Would you like to investigate further to see what it is? Yes. Okay, roll an investigation check again. Luminous. Mm. Ready. Okay, so I think he's mm -hmm. told dinner there. Yeah. Dinner. How much longer do you think this might go on for? They're searching mm -hmm. the ones over here. I'm going to search the one that was over here. Could go on for upwards to probably at most like another twenty minutes, but yeah, we're gonna be looking to close up soon. Yeah, I'm just gonna head out early then. Okay. So bye. -bye. I will see you guys next week. I catch. Yeah. Adios. Bye. See, that was a quick session. <laughs> Yeah, I'm feeling that as well. Two hours. Same time though, I am hungry and I need food. <laughs> so, what time is it for you guys? Midnight. Midnight. Oh, I see. I've been up since like one yeah. p.m. I've had one thing to eat all day. I'm hungry. I mm -hmm. woke up at three p.m. after running session until five a.m. I was asleep until week. three, but I chose to get up. I woke up. At a beautiful nine o'clock in the morning. Perfect. Oh, sorry, I have it. Four hours sleep. 
and I'm oh. going perfectly strong. And whose choice what was that to join the fucking army? I oh, know. I'm used to it. I was I was having four hours sleep before I joined. Crazy. Don't ask. I can just I can <laughs> do it. I can just do it. You can just do it. Felt different, you know. You just calling out yeah. calling yeah. it there at the two. Yeah, uh, so we can call it now. And um, all right, I feel like it was a good, good little intro, and we can continue on um, next week. Probably be a little bit longer.